Hello, my name is Marshall Goldsmith. Take a deep breath and ask a deep question. Exactly what am I winning here? You know what you're thinking? Yes, Marshall is making a good point. Over the years, who's most of the people I've been coaching? A bunch of rich old men. They go, oh, no, no, no. No, Miss Manager. Who is it that reminds me of myself? He's a jerk, but he's an engineer. A lot of people believe rich old men would not mind losing tiny little amounts of money. 20 bucks, 40 bucks, 60 bucks. He goes, this is expensive. Shut up. By noon, I've lost 50 bucks, locked myself in the office, and refused to speak to anyone for the rest of the day. I don't get paid if my clients don't get better. Have you ever attempted to change the behavior of a husband, wife, or partner that had no interest in changing? My process does not help people that don't care. So number one, they have to try. Be, be merciful, just fire them. Marshall, we'd like you to coach Dr. X. Never coach ethics problems, fire ethics problems. If somebody's going in the wrong direction, behavioral coaching only helps them get there faster. Let's imagine that I think you're a bad listener. Really, that's easy to fix, just quit doing it. Stupid SOBs in finance, idiot bean counters. I don't believe you're gonna change. Team building without time wasting. Positive, simple, focused, fast. Follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, where they can hold hands and climb trees and sing songs. Nothing really changes. Where do you think we should be going? So we have a dialogue, two-way communication. One, big picture, smaller picture. What are you most proud of? Oh, I work too hard and I need to take a little more time off. Everybody's trying to help each other. I have never seen this process fail. Leadership is becoming global. What does diversity mean globally? A lot of leaders aren't doing so well. More and more, your direct reports are gonna be like your partners. Hierarchical, I'm the boss, you're not. Those days are gone. What have I learned? Successful people are delusional. Have you ever been promoted? Everyone starts laughing at your jokes. Oh, oh, oh. We don't recognize the people around us as much as we could. Make the list of the important people in your life. Phone call, voicemail. Always focus on delegating more effectively. Delegation could do more harm than good. High levels of status, money, and power. I'm amazed at someone at that level. This is life. Decisions are often made by crazy people. Take a deep breath and let it go. Customer, salesperson. It's not their problem, that's your problem. Never stab your boss in the back in front of your direct reports. I'm from Valley Station, Kentucky. Well, you know how it is when you start digging a hole and you don't want to stop. Just dig a little more. Learn to listen to other people. If you're the boss, everyone in that room is looking at your face. Anybody can be a leader when times are good. The great leader is a great leader when times are tough. It's showtime. We think, wait a minute, I can't create a new person. I'm a bad tennis player. How do you know you're a bad listener? I thought the F word was the adjective that proceeded all nouns. Now, when I was growing up, my father had some idea that women weren't supposed to work. So we got to live in poverty. She said, Marshall, you are smart. Oh, excellent mathematical skills. Play pinball game and shoot pool. That's your identity. Never been able to listen. I can't listen. I can't give recognition. Well, why not? Are you genetically mean? She's the smart one. What is a new person I want to create? In the old days, if you didn't love what you do, it wasn't so bad. When you go on that vacation, you're constantly wired in. You're living in a bad place called New Age Professional Hell. We spend an inordinate amount of time in life whining. That first whine is called, it's not fair. It's not smart. It's not logical. It's not their job. It's my job. I'm the CEO. They can't tell me what to do. Do more. Wineless. Why don't we become this person who's in shape, who's a nice person, good with our family, happy, 14,000 people have a little bit better life? There's always a high probability that some low probability event is going to occur. The Bhagavad Gita. The great Western disease is I'll be happy when. Happiness is a process in life, it's not a result. You hit a golf drive, you go to the sand trap, you swing too hard, you throw your club into a lake, you play the shots that's in front of you. In life, do your best. Make peace with what is. We are where we are. We carry around bad feelings. Forgive them. Let it go. I become what I become because of my environment. You can do it. You can do it. They told Jimmy he couldn't do it. He was tired, sick, and old. He couldn't do it. Of course, the opposite is, I guess, what you call the random walk. It's just all random chance. There are two flight attendants on a typical flight. One's positive, motivated, upbeat, enthusiastic. One's negative, bitter, angry, and cynical. The key variable for success in coaching is not the coach. It's the person who's being coached. People who are miserable at work are miserable at home. I want you to imagine that you're 95 years old. 95. You're just getting ready to die. 
What advice would that wise old person have for the you that's listening to me? Whatever you're thinking now, do that. Be happy now. Not next week, not next month, not next year. Business advice is much different. Number one, have fun. Life is short. You may not win, at least you try. Thank you very much.